Happy New Month, Nigerian, and welcome to a blessed week. Although it is a week for uh, our NLC to actually embark on strike, which is currently ringing bells on our headlines. All right, so welcome to the newspaper review here on TAF TV. Like you know, we give Nigerians the opportunity to air out their views in regards to the headlines that are making rounds on our newspaper. My name is Ayo Okeme, and I am your host for today. All right, now, before we hit to the street of Patakot, before we give Nigerians the opportunity to air out their views, like we always do every week, now let's get straight to the headlines and see what the headlines has for us today. Now, today being 3rd June 2024, we are seeing on the new telegram, on the front page of the new telegram, we see labor goes ahead with strike as National Assembly fails to stop action. Details of that is found on page 2, page 4, and page 7. And it's also interesting to know that this particular headline is making rounds on every single paper. Now, moving on, still on the new telegram, we're seeing on page 4. You cannot disassociate yourself from Buari's failure, sells Tambuwal, tells Tinibu. Details of that is found on page 4. Deboye laments hardship in Nigeria, says things are hard. Wow, that is coming from our most prestigious person of Adeboye. Attorney, only way to serve local government from paralysis, says Sani. And still on the new telegram we're seeing on page 8, it says again, Zenet Bank named Nigeria's most sustainable bank. Wow, congratulations to our Zenet Bank. Details of that is found on page 8. And still on the new telegram, on page 3 we're seeing Nigeria's electoral process still needs improvement, says European Union. Now still on the new telegram on page 6 we're seeing Bauchi Commissioner dies in auto crash as Tom kills 5. Details of that is found on page 6. Security agencies rescue eight remaining Kogi Varsity students. You can read that up still on the New Telegram on page six. All right, now moving on, we're considering the punch. And on the front page of the punch, we're seeing AGF tackles labor as National Assembly fails to stop strike. Now, still in regards to our NLC and TUC strike, you can read that up on the Punch newspaper on page two. Revenue collectors blame as three killed in Anambra auto crash. Details of that is found on page four and five of the Punch. 24,535 candidates to retake UTME June 2022nd, says Jam. Details of that is found on page nine. And on the front page of the punch, we're seeing OPE strongly prohibits cryptocurrency and virtual asset trading on its platform. You can read that up on page 25. All right, now, lastly, on a newspaper review, now we're considering this day paper. And on the front page of this day paper, we're seeing nationwide industrial action will spell doom for Nigeria says federal government. Now, details of that is found on page 5. President condemns killing of five soldiers by gunmen in Abia. Details of that is found on page 6. And still on this day's paper, we're seeing South African's election ends three decades of ACN domains. Details of that is found on page 5. All right, now, lastly, on this day's paper, we're seeing state police creation is the best way to tackle insecurity. Castina Governor insists. Details of that is found on page 5 of this day's paper. All right, now, this is all we have for you in regards to the headlines that are making rounds on our newspaper. Now, let's hit to the streets of Patakot and hear the, the reactions of Nigerians in regards to these headlines that are making rounds on our newspaper. Do well to stay tuned. New telegram that says, you cannot disassociate yourself from Buari's failure. Do you think that the past administration is what is affecting Tinibu's administration now? I don't sure. Because the past administration is not like this. Tinibu administration is not well planned. Let Tinibu to go and revive itself and call all the ministers and ready to plan itself again. Because I think Buari government better more than Tinibu government. Because what we are passing through now in this Tinibu government is hardship and suffer. People are suffering, people are in pain. Because last time, the Buhari government, we are going to Delta State here, okay. 2000. Okay. But now, Tinibu government, we are going to Delta State, 6000 era. Oh Come on, transport Choba here. In, uh, if you are going from Murumukolo to Choba now, you, you, you will pay 500 era. I'm not supposed to be like that. Okay. Eh? 
How much do you people come so many common men they don't have good job in this country? So how much common men are getting in this country? So they can use it to spend only transport, transport. Oh, yes, yes. Tinubu government is very bad. Okay. Let Tinubu call itself and call the senator and call the ministers. Just let them to revive themselves to plan it again because Buhari government is more better more than Tinubu government. I don't sure. Right. Yes. So at this point you're, you're telling us that you, we, we actually miss Buhari. I don't hear you. What is at this point, do you think we are actually missing Buhari now? Yes, we are missing Buhari. Okay. Because Buhari said it, so we will remember him. Okay. Are you me? Yes. What? Okay, as a, as a patriotic Nigerian, yes. did you think there's, there's a better and renewed hope for this country? Yes, there's a hope. Hope can come. If the leader can revive their self, if they can try to come to sit together, because the common man cannot offer what is happening now. The, the, the things is very high. We need hope for them because it's them, it's them, it's our hope. We don't have hope. The common man don't have hope. So we need hope for them. Let I believe that hope is coming. Let Asiwa Jutinibu, our president, should try to call himself. Call himself in order. Call them. And to drop so many. If the fuel drop down. This more the spotter thing. What is bringing all this essence of raising things is this foil. Like so if the foil can drop that to 200, okay. eh, I believe so many things will draw down. Okay. Because if those things, those people that are producing things, they don't want to drop their things down, that the government will use anger upon them. Okay. Yes, because right. so many of their complaints say foil is how much. So that's why they are raising their things. Right. Uh, uh, lastly, I also like your thoughts on this. Uh, uh, strike. You, you know, of late, it, it looks as if uh, Nigerian is being known for, for going on strike. Now, of late, today, NLC and TUC have been back on strike. Do you think it's always okay to always resolve in strike at the end of the day? No, it's not good to go in strike. Because this strike cannot solve the problem. This strike you're talking about is a uh, fair strike or what? Uh, uh, Nigerian labor, uh, labor. wants, wants their, uh, their salaries to be increased. They want their salary to be increased. Yeah, because of the hardship though. What is that for? Okay. That don't help any matter. I hear me? That don't help any matter. This matter, if they like labor go to strike, this go to strike, don't help any matter. What we need, let the Mr. President call himself in order. Because it's the final say. I hear me? Let him call himself in order. To know how they can solve this problem of way. Because the problem of way is causing hardship. As I'm there, this is very hard. Let Mr. President, Mr. President, the final say. There's nothing the labor go to strike or this go to strike that will solve any problem. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Put at the head. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Uh, good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, I would also like your thoughts on the new telegram. Firstly, happy new month to you, sir. Same to you. All right, now we, we, we are up with um, ASU, uh, with uh, NLC strike again. And here on the t new telegram, it says, Labor goes ahead with strike as uh, National Assembly fails to stop action. Now, this is in regards to the, uh, the most uh, proposed NLC strike that has been ringing bells of late. What's your take on that? For, for a very long time, I've been hearing about NLC, NLC strike, and labor strike, TUC strike. To me, they, the NLC and TUC, they are totally bulldog. Okay. For, for, before you know it, the, the, the IBC will not tomorrow morning, before you know it, they call out that strike. And again, too, they, why can't they embark on a strike that will gener, gener, that benefit the generator of Nigerians? Okay. Not only them alone, is everybody a civil servant? Okay. No, everybody cannot be civil servant. Okay. Look at the issue of fuel. People are suffering. Every time he has a, a, a call of the back on strike, to, a, 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 the following day, your call of that strike. Let them embark on strike that will benefit all Nigerians, not only civil servants alone. Okay. I'm not a civil servant. Okay. Are you a civil servant? No, no, no. no that is it. At, at this point, you're, you're saying it, it is not just okay for, uh, you know, the trade union congress gets to cover every other aspect. Don't you think that uh, they, this union, uh, as you know, as, as NLC as a body, they tend to cover everybody. Don't you think it's okay that they keep embarking on this strike? I've already just said it. Let them embark on strike. Uh, that generate all Nigerians. All right, sir, please. Uh, lastly, lastly, no, lastly now, please. Uh, for the past one year, did you think our president is, is going to restructure this nation just like he promised? You know, he has, he has just celebrated one year in office. Do you think there is hope for restructuring just like he promised? Right from his session, the man had been promising Nigerians a good future. I don't see anything yet. Okay. Let, let, us, let us still be optimistic. Okay. Another thing is that, why should this should look at the issue of uh, change of national, uh, national and tent? What's the meaning of that? People are suffering. Okay. That is killing here and there. Kidnapping here and there. You're talking about national and tent. Is there a problem? Okay. And 
That is nonsense. All right. We have come to the end of our newspaper review here on TAF TV. You have been an opportunity to hear what Nigerians got to say, especially in regards to our NLC that are currently embarking on a strike. You also can be part of this show. Do well to subscribe. Follow us up on all our social media handles so that you keep updated each time we bring you training headlines and reactions of Nigerians in regards to the training headlines on our newspaper. My name is Ayo Keme and I've been your host for today. Do well to take care of yourself.